Greetings. This is Arvette McLean with Speak. The Universe Listens. New ways to view age-old challenges. Change your thoughts. Change your life. Step into the bigness of you. So uh, this week, uh, I got a new position I'm going to be starting, a uh, new job, so uh-huh. I'm excited about that, okay. it's something new. Um, I'm going to be in a position where I'm, I'm a supervisor, but I also am doing something totally new um, on the aspect of like the HVAC part of it. So I'm not too good with that. You know, in that position, you have to be certified. I'm, I'm not, but I have other credentials. It made me get the position, so I'm sort of nervous when it comes to that aspect of it, trying to teach somebody. Like, if they ask me a question, I'm thinking to myself, like, what the hell? Uh, I mean, I can't say I don't know, you know, <laughs> what I look like. Rather be YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, YouTube. <laughs> <real quick. laughs> so, um, so, I'm very excited about that. Um, at first, I was a little hesitant with it because of the simple fact. I'm thinking, like, hey, I don't know this, so how can I do this, you know? But... I said, hey, you know, if I put my foot out there and I do it, I'm going to learn it. Yeah, and then eventually everything is going to fall in into play for mm-hmm. me. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. Excited. Congrats, Steven. Thanks. Um, yeah, so I had, a feeling, I had a similar feeling once before, and um, I'll never forget the advice that somebody gave me. It was the first time I liked it was the first time I started my latest job and mm-hmm. had to do a tour for the first time. And I felt so nervous. And I remember talking to the science teacher and I was like, yeah, you know, I just don't want to mess up. And wow. I remember she said, well, listen, if you mess up, here's the good part. Nobody knows that you don't know. <laughs> so all you got to do is appear with the confidence and feel like what you're actually seeing. And it'll just be the fact of that moment. And then the next time around, you just correct it and now you know. So I guess what I would say to you is like, yeah, you know, even if you don't know the stuff yet, just, you know, make sure you feel like you know. Say whatever you're saying in your power. And then, you know, next time, just take the time around. Make sure you do a little extra studying and figure it out. I like that, huh? <laughs> and well, I've said too, you too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that also, um, it reminds me of a time when I first, I remember when I first graduated from Longwood, I got my first job or whatever, and it was like, all right, I'm like in a managerial position, uh-huh. but at the same time, I'm like 22 years old. Okay. So I'm 22 years old, like having to be in charge of people, and I'm like, I've never done this before. Right. And then like everybody I was in charge of was also 20 years older than me and been working in their jobs for 20 years. And so I remember I had to do something like get some flyers or something made or whatever, and I needed some information. And I used to struggle to ask like the people for the information. And so it wasn't until like I had almost got in trouble like the CEO was like, look, you need to know that they here to help you. So if you don't know, just let them know that you don't know and they also help you. And then she was like, but at the same time, if you need something, ask them for it. And I was like, yeah, but you know, such and such been here for 20 years. She's 50 years old. This is like my mother. And she's like, no, like this is your credentials and this is what you do. And she is here to assist you in that position. And so after she told me that, I was like, all right, well, I guess I do need to take a step back and actually step into this managerial position and actually give it me. Right. Because I got hired for a reason, is what I had to remind myself. And um, the minute we did that, I got those flyers made. We did a couple of things. It didn't work out in the long run, but I definitely took like, that experience. I was like, oh, like now I feel better about managing things because I was like, I don't have to be worried about like, oh, such and such is older than me, or you don't know this, or I had to take a step back and like, one, tell myself, you belong here. That was what I realized was the biggest thing. I didn't feel like I belonged in that position because I was like, yo, I'm 22, like, it's a million other people older than me that's more qualified. But at the same time, if I weren't to get the job, I'd have been like, it's only because they ain't scared to hire anybody new. They tell you go to college and then they'll hire you out to college. <laughs> so it was like a, Believe in yourself and step in your own power. Okay, okay. Made me think, like, while you was talking, made me think, like, 
um, with my nieces and nephews when they were younger. I was like, I was like super uncle. You know, I'm I'm there for the all their events. You know, they were so excited to see me all the time. So I'm the super cool uncle. And everybody used to tell me like, man, even my brothers. It was like, wait till you have a, wait till you have a child. You know, you'll be a, a dope dad. Okay, I said cool. And I got a daughter now. But you know, and now I'm like, I remember. When she was younger, and right at that time as to where she was getting ready, well, before she was even born, put it like that, and she was getting ready to come, I was so nervous. Mm -hmm. It was like, I was just like, man. Because I wasn't thinking like how I would carry the situation with my nieces and nephews. I'm mm -hmm. like, this is mine. It's 24-7, 365. <laughs> so um, when, when she was born, it was just like uh, it was something different, a whole new experience, a feeling. Um, but I, I wouldn't say I was ready for it, but I just mm -hmm. just dove on in, and you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just learning it as I go, mm -hmm. you know. But that was something new for me, something exciting. Yeah, I, I like to relate new beginnings to uh, like having a watermelon. Because when you're in a store and you're buying a watermelon, you can't see how good it is on the inside right. until you take it home and cut it open. So it's like with new beginnings, we don't know exactly what's going to happen until we take a chance, mm -hmm. cut it open, you know. So, yeah, I think <laughs> I relate it to watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, though. There was something else that I did that was uh, quite interesting. I remember huh, I went with you, I bet. Um, we did like a group exercise, right? And I went with you. First time I ever in my life did like an actual group setting mm -hmm. exercise. Because um, I'm so used to like doing it on my own, mm -hmm. being by myself. So I'm like, okay, you know, let me step on out here and uh, do something different. And it was actually cool because I met people, you know, mm -hmm. I, I got a chance to network a little bit. So if she didn't tell me about it, then I wouldn't have, <laughs> I wouldn't have tried it. But um, after I did it though, it was, uh, it was good because it brought me into uh, a new environment, you know, experiencing mm -hmm. something new. And then later on down the road, I had people ask me, hey, you wanna go to the gym or something like that? I ain't never had nobody ask me, go to the gym with them. I'm like, now people wanna ask me. Sure, why not, you know? So I think for anybody that's out there, the um, big thing I would say is like, hey, if it's something new, go for it, go for it. I think you made a real good point right there because um, I think a lot of times when we talk about new beginnings, mm -hmm. a lot of times we can really be afraid, especially some. a lot of times a new beginning is when something traumatic has happened. Mm -hmm. It's not always something good. Well, I'm always say whatever has happened in your life is good, even though it might not look good. But it may not always be, you know, oh, I got a new job, or mm -hmm. I'm getting into school, I'm getting a uh, promotion, or, um, you know, I'm getting married, I'm having a baby. It may not always be something that you would consider wonderful. Wow. It's sometimes, a lot of times, it's, okay, someone died, mm -hmm. and now they're no longer a part of my life. Now, how am I supposed to move on? Um, what is my next step? Um, or it could be, you know, I lost my job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now I have to recreate myself. Like, how do I do this? So I think um, those things can bring in a whole lot of fear. Um, but one of the things you just said was, you said, once you try this group experience, then other people start inviting you to do this thing, mm -hmm. right? And that's the interesting thing about, I guess, momentum and, and ideals and things like that. So, um, like, when you have to start over, of course, we understand, like, the fear mm -hmm. and, you know, that type of thing. But if you can try to find a way to have one good thought about it, um, find anything that you can think of that's good, right. then another good thing mm -hmm. would join it. So, um, you know, something, let's just say, if you've gotten a divorce, 
and now you you've been used to doing life a certain way and now you have to start over and you're just like oh my goodness I don't even know how to put I don't know what to do next I don't even know what my first step is but if you can find something good like um you know well those 15 years there were some good years you mm -hmm. know there were some things that I learned absolutely learned about myself you know just start thinking about what you can take away from it that's good something that you can be grateful for that very action can cause another like thought and then as you start building reasons to be grateful that'll help you ease into this next phase in, of your life. Yeah. So I agree with you on that. It doesn't always have to come from a space of, you know, something traumatic happening in mm -hmm. your life to have a new beginning. Yeah. And it's funny because I also have an example of that. Same example, just fast forward the timeline. Same job that I was afraid to manage in it also ended up closing so here I am 22 without a job mm -hmm. and having to figure out look, what now what do I do like I felt like I had found a blessing finding my first job out of college the first time I was like oh now what do I do do I update my resume I had to it was the first time I'd ever been on unemployment I had to f f learn how to mm -hmm. do unemployment mm -hmm. and in that it that was actually a blessing for me like if I'm being honest because I had I always wanted a break, and I think I need not didn't need a mental break. I think I wanted a mental break at that time, but I was like, ah, oh, but I got to keep working. But the unemployment allowed me to take a step back and figure out, well, what did I like in this job that I did, and is this something I still want to do? Because you know it was my first job out of college, so it only lasted nine months, so I had plenty of time to pivot if I wanted to do something different. But I was able to take a step back and go, oh, well, I think I like this as a career path. So let me look for more of this. And it actually also ended up leading to me joining like the board of like one of these organizations for fundraising. And that ended up like springing open so many doors for different job opportunities as well. So I always say as um, when my job at first closed, I used to be frustrated because when I would think about it, everyone else that was working there was able to just transfer their job to the new organization, except me and the CEO. <laughs> So it's like, well, she gonna retire, so she fine. <laughs> like, this is like, it was all amazing. Like, I'm so glad that this place bought it. But I'm like, yeah, but now I'm out of job. <laughs> so I had to take the step back and like, all right, well, is this what you want to do? One, I was like, well, I, I always said I never want to stay in like any career longer than five years. I was like, I can see myself doing this for the next five years. And then it was, well, what relationships did you build? And I remember I found a. Um, a guy who was an incredible mentor to me at that time too and kind of helped me guide through the way of like how to do interviews and find a new job and kind of help through that or whatever and I always say all the time if that place didn't close I probably don't end up where I am now and where I am now led me to my overall dream and goal of wanting my own school so the reality of it is I needed to lose that job in order to get to what I really wanted <laughs> but of course, it didn't feel like it in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> I can say too, like uh, just doing my my spiritual journey. Um, I remember uh, I used to read a lot, like about you know ways to uh, become better, showing gratitude, mm -hmm. um, how to get out in nature, and the effects that it will have on you mentally and emotionally, and so. I remember, uh, you know, I always liked water anyway, that's my thing, but I never had the thought to be like, you know what, I'm just going to go out here one day and just walk by the river by myself, you know, or I'm just going to uh, go out and take a trip by myself, you know, and when I started doing it, um, I remember the first time I started doing it, I felt weird because I'm like, don't you're supposed to have somebody with you you know <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're looking crazy you're going by yourself but i did it because of the simple fact um it was something new but i knew that it was something that was bettering you know for me in my my time frame of where i was at in my life trying to sit back and um be more in the space of loving myself as to where it's like hey you know what I got to be able to enjoy myself. If I can't enjoy myself being by myself, then it's like, mm -hmm. hey, um, nature, you know, being out in nature, how peaceful it is, um, 
for me and just a mindset. So finding that space is to where it's like uh, I can get away, and that is my getaway. But before, I didn't know how to get away at all. <laughs> it was just like, all right, my getaway is I'm gonna sit in the car on lunch break. <laughs> I don't want to be bothered though. But um, yeah. Then I thought it was very odd. But now I look at it, and now I'm just like, I enjoy doing it. Mm-hmm. I don't do it as much, but I try to keep it on a frequent, you know, as possible, frequent basis as possible. So that's something new, you know. I can mm-hmm. say that uh, it's been it's been cool for me in my life. And then I think too, a lot of times when you think about new beginnings, um, we think about there may be some things that we want to do but then we're afraid Mm -hmm. to do it so we're afraid to take that step um and i would just say like i mean i can think of (laughs) 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 i can think of a time when um i know i've told this story a whole lot of times before but i had went to las vegas and um i couldn't find a job because everything was union jobs like in order to get a job you had to be in a union and so of course i couldn't be in a union because i w- i didn't live in las vegas or whatever so it was very few non-union jobs and so there was only one hotel in in the on the vegas strip that was not a part of the union that was um at that time well anyway it's called vegas world so um i went there and i tried to uh, applied to be a um, housekeeper and they're like no sweetie <laughs> you you can't do this we you got to clean 14 rooms a day and stuff and I'm like well, I have nine rooms in my house you know I, I can do it I, I can clean my house many times she's just like mm, no sweetheart like you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to do this and I'm like no I can do it I can do it I can do it and so I just kept saying no I can do it or whatever and so I guess she was just tickled you know she was like you know what I got a friend that work in the gift shop and um I mean that owns the gift you know owns the gift shop and I'm gonna give you her information I'll call da 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 so anyway I'll end up going to the gift shop to try to get the job there and so I basically say um she's like well I still have a few more people that I want to interview and I'm like okay so when are you gonna call me so that I can start and she's like Okay, I still have a few more people <laughs> that I need to interview. And I'm like, okay, so when are you going to let me know that I can start? Yeah. Or whatever. And so she's looking at me like, <laughs> she's not sure if I'm a little, you know, or whatever. But the thing is, like, for me, even as now, I mean, back, that was like, what, 30 years ago. And so even me now, I'm never that assertive. and so it was just like you know something was something kind of took over and was like you know I can do it I can do it give me the job I can do this job or whatever and like throughout my life in times when I would think that I would break down Mm -hmm. where I would think you know like I'm like I don't know how I knew how to do that you know i don't know how i knew how to sh- swim us to shore like mm-hmm. certain things i've done in my life and i'm like that wasn't me <laughs> you know and so i say all that to say that there's a part of us wow. that's bigger than this physical thing that we see when we look in the mirror <laughs> it's way bigger and the more we can remember that that exists <laughs> The more we can tap into that, the more we can become more like that part of us, then there's nothing we can't do. So as we learn to rely on that part of us instead of relying on the known part of us, then any new beginning becomes easy, it becomes fun, it becomes like a miracle. And so I, I guess that's pretty much what I would say, like with your new job, Yes, you can rely on YouTube, <laughs> but there's a part of you that knows way more than YouTube. Right. So, remembering to tap into that at all times, and the more you can tap into that, 
the bigger, brighter, easier, more fun, the more love, the more joy, the more abundance, the more everything you will pull into your life. I remember I used to have, uh, just doing my, you know, my journey growing, um, I used to have a big thing with people pleasing. Like <laughs> all the people that were in my life, you know, family and friends, I wanted to make sure everybody was good, you know. And I used to do that so much that I put myself last and I'm watching everybody blossom and being great. And I'm like, okay, I'm happy. You know, everybody's good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that. But also, I want to feel great and I want to feel good. So I had to realize, like, um, just a, over time, I was like, okay, when are you going to start putting Steven first? You know, mm -hmm. the same energy that you've been giving out everybody else when you want to take that and put it into yourself and that was something new for me like that was like uh it was chan i don't even gonna say challenging but it was just very very new you know and when i started doing it um more and more i'm like i've been missing out <laughs> like, like i've been missing out on the day and and i noticed that i can still be able to give the exact same love to everybody else. But I just had to take what I was giving to everybody else and just give it to me. So that was something that was very new, you know, mm -hmm. changing my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, um, so first I want to go back to what you said about, you know, knowing that there's something bigger, like we are bigger than this version and that the bigger version knows everything that we might need to know. And one time that I was ringing very true for me was when we first went to video here. Mm. Now, the only other time I tried video editing before that was at a job interview, and I didn't get the job. I sat in there for an hour and couldn't figure out one clip. <laughs> and so I don't know what it like. We was like, yeah, well, can we do video? I was like, yeah, we could do it. I just, I don't know what to say, yeah, we can do it, because I knew my last experience was, dog, you sat there for an hour, and you could do it just for <laughs> seconds. But it's like, when it was time to get down and do it, I sat in front of the computer and it was just flowing. I was like, okay, I see what I'm doing here. I pull this here and I pull that there. And then, you know, I learned different techniques. And every time that I had sat down to do it more, there was like something new I was learning in it. And that was just like an incredibly new experience and new like beginning for me because it was like, oh, like now you've opened up the door to so many other things you could do. And now if I wanted that job that I couldn't get, which, ooh. <laughs> terrible job actually um, I could do it now but I remember like even then when I first interviewed the guy who had first offered me the job he's like yeah well you know I don't see anything on your resume that says that you would know this he's like but I like talking to you and I think you could learn it and when he said that like if I'm thinking back now I don't think I had that belief in myself yet I think he said yeah you know I think you do it but to me, it was like, yeah, you know, if I just get it and I look at it and I can figure it out, watch a couple of YouTube videos, but I wasn't ever believing I could do it. Yeah. It wasn't until we were going to do it that I was like, I can do this. But, you know, not only that, um, I remember we were at an event mm -hmm. and there was some computer malfunction. <laughs> and so I'm, you know, I don't know anything about computers. <laughs> I'm like... So I'm just like, Tehran. <laughs> so this has repeated itself like 50 times or more. But I said, Tehran, and Tehran basically, all Tehran got to do is wave his hand over it, and then it will work. And so I was like, I was like, what did you do? He was like, <laughs> I don't know. But it's, it's like, you don't have to know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's like, he just taps into that thing. <laughs> The computer genius, <laughs> and it makes everything all right. And I mean, I, I mean, I can tell you, I've called him so many times, and I'm just like, Tehran, this isn't working. And then when I try it again, yeah. so I'm just like, I'm gonna tell Tehran on you. And <laughs> <laughs> so that was one of my favorite ones, and then um, a second new beginning I had is also when me and Rodney came on camera. I remember, so we've been doing it for like a few years, like behind the scenes, and I would always like sit and record like or whatever, and I felt like I was taking in the information, 
like and then I took your course and I felt like I was taking in the information but I still didn't feel like I need to be speaking on this <laughs> and it wasn't until like the first time that we got on camera I started getting feedback and I was like yeah I like what you said here and I like what you said there and I'm thinking like oh well, I just be feel like I'm a just talking <laughs> <laughs> so um that was but okay if I'm being honest that's the biggest new experience that I'm still growing in as well because I think it was bigger than just being on camera here it was the beginning of stepping into speaking and stepping into like believing in my voice if I'm being honest it was like the first time I started speaking I was like oh you feel like you should be speaking or you feel like your words do have a meaning and your thoughts matter so that is a new beginning that I'm still carrying on and blossoming through you want to close us out? Yeah, yeah. I would tell, um, I would tell anybody the main thing is uh, starting something new, it doesn't automatically have to come from a space of something negative or traumatic happening in your life. I mean, it can be something positive, you know. But um, I would say whatever it is that you want to do, go out there and go for it. If it's something that's bettering you as a person, absolutely do it. All righty. But well, thank you for the topic. Thank you guys for joining us in the thank topic. You guys. And thank you all for joining us as well. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, this is our vet. Let's see. Teron. Run. Bye.